Um, it's day one of my mural uh, painting in Vermont Olympic in LA. And I've got this ladder here. It's one of them called Little Giant. It's a icy little ladder, that's for sure. Just seeing how much I can draw today, keep you updated in the process and be posting throughout the day of what's gonna be happening and when, you know, the development. I'm gonna use strong tape to, to mask out, I mean, to do the doodle grid in a sense. And then I'm gonna start drawing with my markers, my trusty markers here. And then we'll go from there. So this is what I'm just doing. I'm putting this here, putting this tape here. This stuff is chocolate, chalky. Look at that. That's crap on here. I don't know if I think that's going to do anything to the paint. It should seal it, but um, probably just different. That's what I'm doing. Making different stuff. Hopefully this frog tape holds up. It looks like it holds up even on this powdery wall. I just took frog tape and I put it all over. I probably could use the cheaper tape. Probably should have used the cheaper tape. Um, but I had frog tape on me and I didn't want to go to the store. Uh, but this is it. This is very simple. It's very spaced out. I kind of get a little bit more crowded in areas where there's more detail. Uh, over here it's a little bit more spaced out because if, I don't think I have to be so precise. But I think I'll be able to handle it. I'm going to uh, step back and do a photo of it and then implement my art piece on it with my iPad. Um, but that that there with this ladder uh, took me about this 22 foot extendable ladder took me about um, I don't know maybe an hour it took a minute you know I started to be safe probably a little bit less than an hour it's not bad. but here comes the real part because I'm gonna take these markers and I'm gonna go at it probably try to do it with the white because uh, I think the black might show up through the paint if I paint so I took a photo of the wall and now I have put the image on top and lowered the opacity and now I can see the tape on there and start drawing and trying to see if I can get this wall to be accurate and we'll see what happens. I have started drawing it. It's taken me about an hour and a half just to do this much of a sketch, making it going back and forth. Uh, so I have the possum bottom part drawn out. Let me zoom out a little bit and then we have the raccoon pretty much done. Just got to do his tail. You can't really see it very well. But I'm actually, I think my marker's going out because it's taking the paint off the wall. But that's pretty much it on the ground. Uh, sucks. Luckily, I went to the store today and got a gray color. Uh, and I got yellow too, so we're gonna see how well that works. Okay, finishing up for the night. I sketched as much as I could sketch. I have a little bit more to do tomorrow. Uh, really see. Um, and you can see some of the lines there. I had to start using yellow because I busted the white cap open on accident. Uh, honestly, you can't really see much, but... Uh, I just got breakfast. It's 7 a.m. 7.15, actually. Tried again to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Failed. Got up at 6. Um, everything's packed and ready. I've got most of the drawing done, most of the artwork done. Uh, i got to do some more sketching and this morning. Probably should take about two more hours to get up on the ladder and do that. Um, I'm going to check my Instagram handle across some sheets of paper and then have it posted so people can follow me. Maybe it'll help my gram get bigger, get me more some, some more gigs. Uh, I realized that people walking by, they were interested in what was happening and they wanted to verify that I wasn't somebody just crazy spray painting stuff. All right, so now that I've kind of started uh, just drawing up some of these cherry blossoms here, and you know what's kind of cool is that like, while I'm drawing and, and kind of doing this mural, uh, I get to, I'm learning as well, right? This is my, this is the biggest mural I've done. And, and I get to meet some cool people. A lot of people come down, like, are seeing me and ask questions and want to like chat about this because you know they have dreams of themselves and of doing stuff like this. And uh, so far this morning, you know, met a really cool dude who you know is interested in murals. And um, you know, I guess I guess it puts it in perspective that I've always wanted to do this since I was young, and I finally get to do that. And I, and I forget, forget that it's always possible to do this sort of stuff. And it's just it's just about actually believing yourself enough to do it, and then. Making sure you have, honestly, friends that are willing to trust you with something like this. And shout out to Hannah. Um, she is she is the reason why I got this gig, and I'm very. If you haven't checked out her stuff, I'll put the link in the, in the description. 
uh, probably wherever it's going to be in, and check out her stuff. She's got this really cool uh, stationery business. Her art, fan freaking tastic. Uh, amazing artist. Yeah, that's uh, this is where we're at. Got this to do. I'm gonna finish up some of the cherry blossom tree, and then I had this mold to do, and then I am done sketching. Okay, I got a little bit over here, but other than that, I should be done in the next hour and a half. Get the paint, go to Lowe's, get the paint. Um, go to use Valspar, I think, instead of Bear. I know there's a bear on this picture, and I feel like, oh, maybe bears would be good. Um, let me think. So this is the paint. This is the one coat, and the reason why I chose one coat was uh, I felt like it might be a waste of time and money for me to continue painting over with multiple coats. Plus, you multiple coats means more. So I might as well just spend the, spend the extra $10 per, but... You can see here that you have... This is one dollars for this stuff. This is no joke. So hopefully it covers a lot. Uh, I'm going to mix some. This was originally what I was going to get. Duramax, which was like Bears Premium Plus equivalent. But uh, I'm not near Home Depot. And you know what? Valspar, you're just going to have to do the job. Uh, but this is an acrylic paint 100% uh, acrylic I believe uh, correct me if I'm wrong but the dry time is one hour uh, I can always recoat in one to two out uh, four or two to four hours it says 400 square feet I think I'm gonna be doing brush because I don't want to waste paint and as for brushes uh, they said go when you're painting break go for the best Chinex and this is pretty much it this is expensive like 20 or $18 for this thing um, I'm not gonna let anybody else use these because they're so pricey. These are only a dollar something. We're gonna test these out see if they work. Otherwise, I'm gonna try these out first, and then if these work out fine, I'm gonna return these. And this is something handy. You can you can hold on to and put mixture paint in, and then when I'm on that ladder, I can just have my hand stuck in here. And uh, this is cool. I wish I had this a long time ago to pour out my paint. Anyways. Painting in the wolf right now. Uh, got a dark grayish color. Got a little bit of tint brown to it. Uh, I'm gonna come in here with this. Whoop, fill this all in. So I'll get the wolf, and then we need the light spots from three to. Really amazing people come help me out. So these guys, Ethan over here just showed up, made him work. Probably didn't even think it's gonna work. Made these, I found these ladies uh, just walking around the streets. So I was like, you know, grab a brush. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we were just wandering. Just wandering. But they're coloring in the bear now. Pretty bear. 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 It's a bear. Yeah. Okay, so got the bear going. Doing the tree right now. Uh, the paint is actually lasting decently well for what the colors are. I can mix it and they, they, you know, the colors are coming out pretty good, pretty solid. I think, I think we got it. I think we got this.
So it's uh, the fifth day. We are working on major parts, blocking in a lot of the color. So today you'll see a lot more of the image. Leaving a couple days just for um, the orange. But my wife here, Charlotte, is helping me get in, fill in all the whites right now. I've got to do this up there. You can see it, boom. That's the main part of the tree, so once I start doing all that, that'll be done. That'll really bring the image together because the people understand what they're looking at a little bit more. And then get all the greens knocked out today, which is the majority of the actual uh, painting. So I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. Good day, tired, but good. All right guys, so I've been working on the wall. As you can see behind me here, I have the possum done. Uh, that's looking pretty good, and I'll show you. Bear haven't worked on it yet. The tree I'm about to do, and then the wolf is done. It's looking good. It looks like I missed a spot. How did I miss that spot? I do not know. And then we have the mountains I have to do. That's it. So tomorrow I'm gonna get a blue. Uh, my wife is gonna help me. Uh, Charlotte takes a bite. If you haven't seen that YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. She started it up. It's really great. It's like a more personable um, interaction with food and our travels. I think you'll love it. And then, yeah, got this wall to do here. And of course, not to forget that one up there that's just the same size. But... All right, day, day seven. I'm high up here, you know, my wife down there working hard. Look at that. What an artist. Um, but uh, the thing is, is having a ladder against the wall is much more stability than having it triangled out uh, the way I had it before. And that's, I did that because I wanted, I liked having both legs kind of a little more spaced out, but I found that obviously this is much more stable. Another thing, is that one coat versus multiple coats, and this is what you're looking for. If you can see here, there's streaks, and that's from my brush, and that's what a one that's from a, a thinner paint. So when you get your paint, you want to make sure it's a one coat. Like bare is supposed to be like a one coat. This new Valspar is supposed to be one coat, but I got a couple colors that were not one coated. They were just uh, made for durability, and I should have spent the extra ten dollars to get it. So I'm gonna, from now on, I'm going to buy the, the newer, I mean, the uh, Defense, Valspar Defense, not the Duramax, because going over this twice is just twice as long. I don't have time. Time is against me, but it's coming along. All right, let's get back to work. So I'm going to dip it in here, make sure to get as much uh, coverage, and then I'm going to get a little bit of the glob, not clean it off too much, so I can have nice clean lines. If you have spray paint, you can get in here with much better you know coverage um, especially easier spray paint would have been a better thing but I haven't mastered spray paint I don't want to risk it I know paint I know how to brush um, and then you know this is the beginner's way of doing things so I don't find it too intimidating to approach it with a brush it is a lot more work for sure and I think I'm gonna start mastering that spray can so I can get jobs done much quicker because if this was my spray cans I probably could have finished this thing in three days honestly if I knew how to make sharp lines and I knew how to get these details in with a spray can because um, most of the work is being taken up by trying to fill these little holes that this white paint behind it is leaving I want to fill in all the darks now I know how simple it is to create this color, uh, not too worried. So, orange might be a little nice touch to it. Um, so if we're trying to go for a money color, it's great. Oh snap, this is a bright orange. Fantastic. Makes it more of a tan, more of a, of a sandy color. 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's more of a nice creamy. I mean, that's a pretty cream, actually. That's um, kind of like a a light mocha. It sounds delicious. This is still a light color, but I think I want to add a little bit more orange to it, and then add the black to darken it down. Now the black has a blue, so you got to think. What is orange color going to do with a bluish tint? It's going to turn into, uh, well, I guess we'll find out. I don't, I think it's going to be a muddy color, but if I can control it a little bit, it might work out. I don't know. Pour some of this. One scoop at a time. So I'm looking at this color here and I'm looking at this color and seeing if they match. And if they match, I can fill in some extra spots. But to make sure it matches, I need to go up to it and see. It's a little bit darker. It'd probably dry a little bit darker, actually. Um, but just to test it out, not to make any damage to my image. I would just take this little thing and then do that, something small right there. It's going to go over with marker anyway, so I have a black tone, but I'm going to see how that dries and if that comes out darker or lighter. And then um, now I know that it's brown and white, the dark brown and white that makes this. Well, <clears throat> day uh, eight or nine, one of those, it is a day past my due date. They gave me an extension for the 22nd. Uh, that gave me three full days to finish this up, uh, which is exactly what I needed and very thankful for that. So I left out some colors of paint here. They're gone, someone stole them. Uh, I have to mix my oranges again and hope they match whatever but easy breezy got a lot of the wall to do so it's the last day uh, for everyone for me to try to finish as much as possible I'm here with KY you can see all these great people our Lauren's here my wife's here our friends helping us out got a booth so you can pick out KY Doing. Got a ladder filling in this stuff. Got all that going over there. So, um, you want to come out and paint a little bit? Come out and paint and join us. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a lot of it done today. So, I had KYCC out here helping me get this uh, more complete. See them back there helping out. Fantastic. Uh, this is Hannah, a teacher who brought some people out. Hi, Hannah. Your kids left me. Oh, they went to lunch. Lazy children these days. Um, some of the KYCC staff who definitely blessed this wall with their talents and skills. Right? Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And then uh, these cats here. Get them to sign right here. Get their names. Yeah, my wife working hard over here to fix the box up. Doing a lot of it. It's been a very fun experience. Very awesome uh, kind of morning to get everybody going and interactive. Now it's back to me completing this whole thing, which should be by the rest of today and tomorrow, and then we work on the top. So you can see there that Santos, or the Santo guy, I have to cover up all that space right now today. Today's the final day. The rest of it's pretty much done. I mean, I'm missing a few 
few spots here and there. Of course, the sun's right in my camera. All right, so just painted the yellow over there. Now I want to continue to use this while it's still uh, soft. Obviously, um, I used a brush down there. I think I could have saved myself so much time. But then again, I was working on brick. This is not brick, this is a textured wall. I have all of that to do, which is sun's going down. It's going down real low, you know. Uh, I think another hour of this, and then I'm heading down, clearing off the roof, which is to be done, it'll be great. Don't know if you can see, but I've been put some they're actually not as bright as on camera. They're actually very dark green, but they show up to glare. But I put them all over the top so that people will know this is the continuation of the tree. And time to go down to a safe location. Let's pack this stuff up. All right. Ooh. His phone up, it hurts. Packing away my Prius C. This is why I love my Prius C. I'm gonna show you what I can fit. I fit everything. That's right, baby. Look at this. Uh, I've got the ladder. I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got the trash. I've got the good stuff. It's all layered and stacked. That looks like chaos. But it fits in a Prius C. I did it. Finished behind me is my mural. Uh, my first ever large wall, large scale mural. This one is for the city of KYCC. Anyways, I need sleep. All right, so let's begin. This is it. This is my wall. Finished it. It took about 11, 12 days. Let's start with this side. The raccoon here. Uh, I mean, not the raccoon, the possum. The uh, fox and the bear all from this angle. But it gives the effect of KYCC and the heat. The whole idea is that this blue part, this part right here would be cool. This part would be hot. And then we have the possum here going around. So that's one of the buildings in the back with some holes, like flowers and stuff. Got the, uh, the fox here. Pink fox, you know, I thought it would be nice to have a pink purplish fox. flowers, the bear smelling flower. I was gonna do this little wisp with a little bee, but then I decided that uh, butterfly up there is going up. Kind of looks like he farted, you know, with that little wisp. Anyways, bear sniffing a flower sleeping by a tree, mushrooms, stuff like that. Uh, my favorite is the coyote. He comes down and turns into the heat when he's hot and drooly. You know, you got water sprouting, spouting out from here, hitting the, the, the goldfish, uh, the raccoon, the red raccoon, it's great. Charlotte did that one, fantastic. And then you have the woodpecker here. And then uh, it turns into like, you know, more colored scene and the plants in the shade. And then, of course, everybody can help. I got them to sign as many people as possible. And then uh, AYCC and me. Anyways, this took me 12 days. People seem to like this painting. Very pretty and very fun. And uh, that's it.